As we now live in a social media driven world, blogging and vlogging activities have been on the rise. These activities have become so profitable that many individuals have been pursuing them on a full time basis and earning significant income to support their lifestyles. Blogging can be treated as self employment. The Canada Revenue Agency considers blogging, which results in payment, income as a business activity. Income earned from blogging is therefore treated as self-employment income with the individual as a sole proprietor. If you make money from your blog, you should consult a tax professional, and consider filing Form T2125, Statement of Business or Professional Activities to report any income made from blogging activities on your personal tax return. Do I need to pay taxes in Canada on my blog income? Yes. If you're earning any income from your blog, it qualifies as self-employed income under CRA guidelines. Tax package The tax package that you will use is T1. Tax form The tax form that you have to fill out for your blogging income is the T2125 Statement of Business or Professional Activities. Note that T2125 is only for your blogging income. Income includes near cash and goods. You should include income that you received through cash and electronic fund transfers. However, you must also include items like near cash. The most used example is gift cards. Various tax deductions you may be able to claim as a self-employed blogger, blogger blogging, is a relatively new profession, but it's covered by the same tax laws that apply to many other occupations. Here is a brief overview of the various tax deductions that bloggers can claim for their blogging business. If you are considering monetizing your blog, you should consider getting professional tax advice to avoid any tax issues. Domain and web hosting expense. A tax deduction can be claimed for expenses incurred to obtain a domain name. In addition, any expenses incurred for web hosting and the annual fee paid for maintaining the domain name, are deductible as these are ordinary and necessary expenses for a blogging website. Internet service charges. Since an internet connection is necessary to access the website and carry out the blogging activities the monthly service charges are tax deductible. However, only the portion used for business purposes is deductible. For example, if the internet is used for 12 hours a day to blog, 50% of the day the internet is used for business purposes, and if the daily charge is $10, only $5 can be claimed as a business expense. Computer, mobile phone, laptops, notebooks, and or any hardware and software expense. The costs incurred to purchase a laptop, or any computer equipment or software is considered a capital cost. Capital costs are deductible for tax purposes based on CRA prescribed percentages each year. These capital items are grouped into capital cost allowance classes each of which has a set percentage that ensures that the equipment is deducted over its useful life rather than just in the year of purchase. However, do remember to keep the receipts as they may be necessary to validate the tax claim. Home office expense. In some cases, bloggers can deduct a portion of their household expenses, in the form of a home office expense. Do break down, all the expenses you need to break down all the expenses and categorize them into appropriate buckets. Filing deadlines The regular filing deadline is April 30th. 